There is no doubt that 3D printers have been a huge success since their mainstream introduction in 2005. With so many companies introducing what they believe to be an affordable and high quality option, it's getting extremely difficult to keep up. The technology is improving and improving and the price is being driven down, but not many 3D printers come with a technology like this one. This is the Kokoni 3D printer and it's the world's first instant AI 3D modeling option on the market. With the ability to take 2D photos and turn them into 3D models instantly, this is a piece of kit that could take the market by storm. So let's see what all the fuss is about and unbox this guy. Keep in mind this product is still in its beta stages, so it might have some changes. The unboxing experience is rather simple, and as you can see the box is small and compact, really only containing the bare minimum to get you up and running. You get a power adapter and a nice long pair of tweezers. So looking at the machine at first glances, it's safe to say this is is very small and compact, offering minimal surface to take up space, but yet maintaining an attractive and minimalistic design. I'm actually quite in awe of the design of this. It's slightly futuristic, but still maintains that simple look to put you at ease with 3D printing. At a height of just 23 centimeters and a width of 28 centimeters with the rear spoil on, this is for sure very compact. Probably many of you have already began the thought process of just how small this printing bed is. And well, it is quite small. At 100mm by 100 by 58mm, you're indeed working with a very small area. So that is going to limit you on what you can print and how you intend to use this. But let's be honest, if you are on the market for something as small as this, you've already facilitated that small printing area and decided on what you're actually going to use this for. So as mentioned, the filament is on the back and how it works is a lot simpler than others. It comes in this very nice little carry box which contains the PLA filament filament, which many 3D printer enthusiasts will know is a much smoother filament that offers better results and as this is targeted to beginners and youngsters, that filament fulfills the need of being safe and non-toxic. So everything is really easy to set up out of the box, there is no construction required, we can go ahead and simply plug in the power adapter, turn it on and begin the setup process. You need to click the red button on the back that allows you to start that pairing process. Now this works independently purely with your iOS device or Android. It does work only over a Wi-Fi connection so do keep that in mind. Once powered on we can go ahead and search for the printer in the Wi-Fi hotspots. Some phones may take a while for that to become visible but just be patient. We're going to download and open up the Kokoni 3D printer app. Like I did say earlier this is still in its beta stages so do bear with it. It is a very simple application to use and it makes for great usage with beginners and children as the interface is very simple to operate. Once we are connected and set up we do have have an abundance of free 3D models that we can choose from, with a huge database that is likely going to be added on from official and third party sources, it takes the hard work of finding things on your computer, downloading it to an SD card and then going to have to print it or running a cable to the computer. There are so many little designs and unique ideas to choose from that will utilise that small printing area. Let's go ahead and print something simple to start with, I wanted to try something that I could use in everyday life and actually benefit from and I chose to print this cable management clip. I simply follow the menu information and click print. I can actually choose the quality I want which will in turn speed up or lower the printing process and give you a better or lower quality print. What's great about this little guy is it's not only fast due to its printing style and rather small printing bed but it's ultra quiet, I can barely hear it. I have used quite a few 3D printers over the years and this is by far one of the quieter ones. There was no requirements at all from me to level the bed, it's all done and maintains that leveling itself. So when I say it prints straight from the box, it really does. The printing process doesn't take that long and before you know it you have a notification of completion. Now the results, they're not half bad. We do have to be somewhat realistic, they aren't going to be good as a higher end printer costing well over £500 but for the asking price for this you are getting some very decent results. I have played around with some of the printings and they all do seem to come out quite well. There is little to no work needed on your behalf to begin the printing process. Unlike other printers this maintains that simple usage option of finding a preset design 
and printing it. There's no need to level or set the heating or bed temperature. The entire machine and app work in tandem to achieve these simple designs with great results. But as mentioned at the start of the video, where this printer truly expands its horizons is with that AI technology built in. The creation part of the app allows you to scan a personnel to create a 3D render, which in turn can be used for 3D modeling. You can add a photo within your gallery, but I would recommend taking a new one as it does take some time to get the perfect image to get the perfect result. It is a long process and takes about 3-5 to five minutes, but you can't deny it's a unique one that's worth waiting for. The 3D model isn't perfect and quite frankly only barely resembles you, but it gets that face construction somewhat correct and allows you to spin around and get an idea of the finished result. I began the 3D print of my face and sat back with not much enthusiasm. I honestly didn't expect that much at all, but after a little time, this is what I ended up with. Yes, it's not photorealistic, but for a 3D print, it's nifty and unique. And guess what, it was all processed with a simple one-off photo. The application value of this could be quite entertaining, allowing you to bring to life 3D models of your family members and providing them with unique gifts. There is room for improvement, there's no doubt about it, but we could be in store for a unique 3D printing experience. This is soon to hit the market and once it's been delivered and worked on further, there is no doubt it's easy to use and simplistic interface will make it a dream for enthusiasts and beginners alike. It's not going to compete with higher end or mid range machines, but with that IA feature, it will certainly give it a whopping go. Check out this product in the link in the description, let me know what you think. And as always, till next time.